Pat Robertson is going to answer a question here about disciplining kids, and he's going to get positively giddy over the idea of hitting them. My son is 11, and he's recently started listening to music that speaks of the beast within and the infection in people. And it's almost come to the point of me giving up trying to parent him. He's constantly mean and nasty to us, and I worry for his soul. I'm not going to give up on him, and I know the Lord's going to save him. But what can I do to help him become a nicer person and the sweet little boy I miss so much? Well, i tell you what you can do. Recognize he's going into puberty and he's got all those issues. I mean, I, I you know, so some psychiatrists say, oh, remember, he's got puberty issues. But it doesn't hurt to smack a little 11-year-old around a little bit and say, look, kid, I'm your parent. You behave. You're not going to listen to that garbage in my house. If you do, I'm going to tear it up and break those records. I'm not going to, or, or CDs or whatever. iPods, whatever. You know, yeah. iPod or how, however you I mean, get that mess. he's only 11, so. I know he's only 11. He's just a little twerp, and you make that little twerp <laughs> behave. He's your kid. He's just a little boy. Yes, yeah, yes. removing privileges, too, because an 11-year-old can't drive, so they can't go anywhere yeah, well, without you. Yeah, you do. I don't know what, he, what his privilege is, but the thing, there's a lot of evil in the world, and you have to protect kids from evil, and, and, and you've got to do it any way you want to. But look, little kids, little boys, I guess you act like you're a single woman, and they'll take advantage of you because they figure, if there was a man in the House. Well, she says he's constantly mean and nasty to us, and so... Well, us. Well, then Daddy had better get in there. Little kid wouldn't do that with me, I promise you. Okay. okay. <laughs> Little kid. Our dry pods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big Daddy's home. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. That explains a lot. Ooh, Pat's co-host with a zinger there. Like, yeah, you're pretty fucked up yourself. Anyway, moving on. Next question. That's just a creepy clip to watch because he's like, he's like excited about the idea of hitting an 11 year old. Like we've seen him react positively to things in the past. It's different than that. It's, it was like an extra level, an extra layer of like, <laughs> yes, physically assaulted 11 year old. And I mean, I love the question too. Uh, these are profoundly simple people who watch Pat Robertson because the person said, my son is 11 and he's listening to rebellious music. You may as well have sent in a, 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 a question that says, My son is human. What should I do? Whose kids have not listened to rebellious music starting around that age? Literally every generation. I mean, think about it like your parents, if you're about my age, their, grand, their parents, so your grandparents, hated when they started listening to like rock and roll they're like oh this is the devil's music it's so terrible they're strumming on their guitars and they're talking about sex and alcohol and <gasps> illegal drugs and it happens at, with every generation then there was oh my god there's rap music oh it's so terrible and it's you know it's uh taking away our morals and Need we go on? Oh, the techno music these kids listen to as they take their their ecstasy, their MDMA is the downfall of society. Why are they so rebellious? Because everybody's fucking rebellious. Every generation, they're not they're not gonna be they're different generations. They're not gonna be exactly like you. I love how people just default assume like my kid is supposed to listen to the same music I listen to and do the same things and do the same job and be exactly like me in every way, or not. Or you have some shitty taste in music, and your kid doesn't like it, and your kid doesn't want to be an accountant. Bob, get over it, alright? Like, I don't know, people seem to, they get in their own little bubble, and like, if something slightly deviates from what their idea of it is supposed to be, they just lose their shit. My kid's listening to music that's rebellious! Yeah, because your kid's a kid, your kid's alive, that's why your kid's listening to rebellious music. And I'm sure, by the way, the music isn't even all that bad. Right? Is there a single song or, you know, any genre of music out there today where there's not talk about blowjobs and sex and fucking doing drugs? It's just, it is what it is. Like, you're not going to find music about, And then I had dinner with my lovely family, and we walked the dog together. <laughs> Who's going to listen to that? Rock on, bros, what I'm talking about. Get to the part about getting good grades. It's not how the world works. But Paco's quote, smack a little 11-year-old a little around a little bit. As he's laughing, he says that, by the way. 
And then my favorite irony of all, quote, there's a lot of evil in the world. Right, like people who would hit an 11-year-old. Now understand, man, I know that back in the day, this is what people did, like give your, you know, give your kid a little smack when they're acting up or something. But now that I'm at the age, my sister has kids, so I have a niece and a nephew. Like, I look at these kids and I think, under no circumstances, hitting them the right way to go. Like, they're people. These are little people. You have to nurture them and raise them. Yes, you discipline them, but you discipline them in an intelligent way. You don't just fucking turn to violence. Because then what's happening, you're letting them know that when the going gets tough down the road, when you're an adult, you should turn to violence to try to fix a problem. It just, it sends all the wrong messages. It's an old school way of doing things. It's not the right way of doing things. And you certainly shouldn't be giddy at the idea of it. Yeah, you smack a kid. That's what you gotta do, because obviously you know what's right and they don't. Or maybe you're the idiot. You ever thought about that? Pat Robertson, a guy who believes in a space fairy that's three people but it's one person, and there's a, a snake that talks and a burning bush and a, a resurrection. But I'm the smart one, this kid's stupid. What are, you, what are you talking about? That's why I should hit the kid. Or maybe the kid should hit your dumbass for being as stupid as you are.